ever look around your home or your parents' home and think, there is way too much stuff here, and what are we gonna do with it all? Children once wanted to inherit their parents' family heirlooms, things like 100-year-old furniture and art, but that is changing, and with it, the world of antiques has changed too. So why have our feelings toward old possessions, many of which have a connection to our family history, changed so much? 207's Beth McAvoy has the story. The history of the world is the stuff. This stuff survives, the people don't. Kaja Veyu is an expert on stuff. This is a very rare desk lamp that was made by Tiffany. This all molded glass is what they call linen fold, all inlaid with mother of pearl. And this should bring probably 8,500 to 15,000. We are now live at Thomas and Place Auction Galleries. And He's been appraising and auctioning antiques for five decades. Selling once, selling twice, at three and a quarter, three and a half anymore. All in, all done, three and a quarter. He's also a passionate collector. It was on exhibit at the Fonsworth Museum. And I saw it, and, I, and I, I walked in the room, and I said, this is incredible. I got to own it. But almost everything he's collected can be sold for the right price. I once sold the dining room set in my apartment in Waterville when I first started. And my, my wife forgot to tell me we have, she was having a dinner party that night, and she came home, and there was no furniture. She wasn't happy. <laughs> <laughs> when I first started in the business, you really had to haggle with people to get them to sell you something or let you sell something for them. The prices of antiques have taken a dramatic nosedive over the last few decades. And now they're practically beating down the doors to have you sell their stuff. According to Veyu, there are many reasons. All these new decorative designer magazines showing you know, stock white houses with minimal furniture. Then they came in with all this light colored Scandinavian furniture. As baby boomers downsize and their children say no thanks to their parents' old things, their heirlooms are flooding the market. The quality of the workmanship in the past far surpasses anything that's made today. Veyu thinks a lack of appreciation for history attributes to antiques falling out of style. This would have been made by a master craftsman, a master cabinet maker. And sometimes you had a cabinet maker that made the cabinet, then you had an inlayer that did the inlay, you had a guy that did the brasses. Veyu estimates this Dutch dresser will sell for around $7,500. Two decades ago, it would have brought in six times that amount. You wouldn't think that's very valuable and it looks like a little primitive, but that's by Grandma Moses. Wow. Yeah. Oh, Many yeah. antiques that once brought in a hefty payday now have little to no value. Something to consider when you're sifting through old things? Uh, the books have gone down to value like crazy. Sewing machines, forget about it. And, unless it's a featherlight sewing machine, which comes in a little black box about this big, made by Singer, and the ladies love those for um, making quilts, and they average bring in about $350. Silver plated objects. No, forget it. Persian rugs. Persian rugs are good to about 50% of what they used to be. Veyu says look out for rarities like this pear-shaped tea caddy, which is worth $1,000. This was lined with lead. It's amazing there's any Englishman left, and it had kept your t loose tea in it. Or penny banks, which can bring some serious dough, 1500 bucks. It's called the Bismarck Bank, and old Bismarck goes down inside the pig like that, and then you put the, when you put the penny in here, he pops up. It's not all bad news for your old stuff. Toys are great, watches are great, jewelry's great, silver's great, coins and paper money are phenomenal, clocks, artwork of all kinds, sculpture of all kinds, garden figures, bronzes, that kind of stuff is still great. weaponry, fantastic. Native American, Chinese, Russian, Persian, all stuff that years ago we couldn't even sell. They're the rock stars now. superseding the American stuff. Bayou says there are many bargains to be found right now. And the great thing about antiques, there's something for every taste. What was your favorite piece? Gotta be the cat painting. Not sure what something is worth? Four decades ago, Veyu started Free Appraisal Day. Once a week, anyone can bring in items and he'll give them a free appraisal. Many treasures have been found on this day. We had a gold and a, a lump emerald ring from a pharaoh. 
in Egypt, a smoking um, cabinet made out of a skull of a monkey. I mean, people have the craziest things. If he could persuade people to hold on to some things, he'd recommend those that have sentimental value rather than financial value. Now we know in fashion, just like I'm sure in antiques, these things come back in style. They do. Do you see them having a resurgence? Not in my lifetime. Maybe you guys. I Hopefully in you guys. Otherwise, the, none of this will be saved. Right now, all the auctions at Thomaston Place auction galleries are online because of COVID. Kajaveu says the majority of what he sells comes from Maine homes. However, he does travel all over New England, the U.S. and Canada in search of antiques. And Amanda, you and I have a little personal experience. Your parents recently moved, my parents passed away, and we know what it's like to try to unload some of these family possessions. Yeah, it's hard, and I think it's it's hard as the child too, because you don't want to get rid of the things that they've collected. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's, it's interesting. It was probably about 15 years ago when I was doing an interview with someone for 207, and it was the first time I ever heard the line, there's no luggage rack on a hearse. <laughs> and that's, that line has stuck in my head for about 15 years, and I've learned it from experience. Uh, that, yeah, that, uh, we don't take it with us and uh, somebody's going to have to get rid of it at some point. Oh, so true. So true. Clearly, you and I are the minimalists here. <laughs> <laughs>